What's up guys, Trail Co here. We're gonna be doing an install video for our fifth gen four on our front door molly panels. This is the easiest install you'll ever do. And to prove it, we're doing it in the middle of a snowstorm in one take. Let's go. For this project, you're gonna need some blue tape, a marker, um, obviously the hardware the molly comes with. You're gonna need a riv nut tool if you went for the disassembly free option. And you're going to need a 23 64th drill bit for the rib nuts. If you don't have one of those, that's okay. You can use a 3 8 also. 23 64th is the right size. If you go for the through bolt option, you will have to take the door panel off the door. We are not going to show that today because we're doing the rib nuts. If you do that option, you'll need tools for that option as well. It's just a 10 millimeter wrench instead of your uh, rib nut tool. So let's get it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tape up our door. This is so we can mark where we're drilling our holes. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use tape. We're going to use tape. We like to. Once you got your tape on, you're going to grab your door panel um, and we're going to line it up. We're going to eyeball it and make sure we're okay with the position. And then we're going to mark the holes where we need to drill. On the panel, the holes you need to drill are the holes that are in between the molly uh, grid holes, right? So this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. You'll see that in the photos too. So you're gonna hold up your panel, get your positioning where you want it, right about here, it looks perfect. We're gonna push and we're just gonna mark our holes. One, two, three, and four. It's that easy. Next thing we're going to do is grab our 23-64 drill, drill our holes. One thing I forgot to mention, if you're doing the through bolt option, your drill bit size is going to be a quarter inch. Now keep in mind, right behind this door panel, there's a vapor barrier in your door, there's some insulation. So you only want to drill as deep as the plastic of the door panel. You don't want to go any deeper. So as soon as you go through, stop. Don't shove that drill in there. So next thing we're going to do, take the tape off, put our rib nuts in. So you can grab your rib nut tool. If you don't have one of these, go and buy one. They're the best. Um, and they're super cheap on Amazon. This one was like 30 or 40 bucks. Totally worth it. Especially if you're going to be getting any of our other panels because we use these everywhere. We really like the option to not have to disassemble the door. So we're going to put our rib nuts in. All right, there we go. You're done with this. This last part is as easy as it gets. We're gonna take our panel. Your panel comes with Allen bolts and spacers. You're gonna line up your panel, put your Allen bolts through, put your spacers on your Allen bolts, and start running them in. Because we're using rib nuts, you don't need to take the door panel off. You don't need to hold a bolt. Uh, you don't need to hold a nut on the back. If anybody opts for the through bolts, you will be doing that. That's just a personal preference, obviously. Lastly, you're gonna grab your Allen key, tighten these bad boys up, and then you're done. All right, guys, that's literally it. Easiest install you'll ever do. Now you have a badass panel on your door. You can mount molly patches, flashlights, walkie-talkies, I've got a fire extinguisher on mine, and like I said, the uh, rib nuts make for a really clean install. Looks good, rock solid on the door, and installs fast. My hands are barely cold yet. All right, that's how quickly we did this. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, thank you so much for ordering this. If you did, check us out on Instagram at Trail and Co. Uh, check out our website, trail-co.com. You can get this and a bunch of other cool stuff for your fifth gen. See you next time.